cost its victory and the grave has been denied. Oh, Jesus lives forever. He's alive. He's alive. He's the Alpha and Omega. The first and last is He. The curse of sin is broken. We have perfect liberty. Oh, the Lamb of God has risen. He's alive. Is victory and the grave has been denied. Oh, Jesus is forever. He's alive. He's alive. He's the Alpha and Omega. Oh, first and last is He. The curse of sin is broken and we have perfect liberty. Precious Prince of Peace He's the word that lives forever He's alive He's alive Oh, hallelujah Oh, my Jesus is alive Death has lost his victory And the grave has been denied Oh, Jesus lives forever He's alive Sin is broken, and we have perfect liberty. Lord. Let your Holy Spirit fill this house this morning. Lord, let the power of your presence Lord, begin to set upon every heart and every soul, Lord God. Let lives be changed by your anointing, Lord God. Let your Holy Spirit run, Lord God, I pray, in this service this morning. Lord God, I pray that hearts be healed, Lord God, transformed by the presence of your Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you begin to take hold, Lord, of every song, every word that's spoken this morning with an anointing. Lord God, that can begin to shake our foundation. Lord God, to draw us closer to what you want us to be. Not in ourselves, Lord, but God, your will, I pray this morning. Lord, let your Holy Spirit begin to move, Lord, richly in this house. Lord God, to stir hearts. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Come on, saints of God. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit into the service this morning. Welcome, Holy Spirit, into this house this morning. Feel your hearts and souls. Lord God, we pray. We need you, Lord Jesus, more today than ever before. We need you, Lord. We need you. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill this house. Fill it with your presence this morning. Fill this tabernacle, Lord God, I pray. Lord Jesus, we need you more, more today, Lord God, than ever before. We need you, Jesus. Jesus, come fill this place, Lord. Fill it with your presence. Fill it with your anointing, Lord Jesus, right now. Come, Holy Spirit. Come fill this place, Lord. Fill it with your anointing. Lord God, let every 
heart be kissed with your presence. Lord God, every soul to be touched. Lord, every soul to be touched by your presence, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. We hunger for you, Lord God. We hunger for your presence, Lord. We hunger for your anointing, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, we pray right now. We need you, Lord God. We need you, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Jesus, I need your fresh touch. We need you, Lord God. We can't do it without you, Lord. We can't make it without you, Lord. But God, you promised it. We stand upon that promise. We stand upon your promises, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Worship Him. Worship Him. 
Just lift it up. You need a touch. Come on, just hold it up this morning. Maybe there's somebody around in this morning, if you can. If you, everybody may not, but you maybe just reach over and touch their shoulder right now. Come on, come on. I need some prayer warriors just to step out. Come on. Some prayer warriors, step out. Just reach out and touch. Just lay your hand over on the shoulder. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Come on, come on. You just need a touch. Lift your hand towards heaven. Somebody will come to you. Come on, come on. Come on, I got one over here. I need a prayer warrior. Come on. I need a prayer warrior over here. Come on, somebody. Just sort of reach around. Just lay your hand on my shoulder. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. 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 Come on. I need Sister, Sister Kearns. Go on. Slip over if you will. Over on the side over here. Come on. Just keep your hand in the this morning. You need a touch. Come on. Let the healing virtue flow this morning. Let God do a word. Come on, Lord God, we praise you this morning. Lord God, we pray for your healing. Lord God, your healing touch this morning. Lord God, to flow in the hearts and lives of these today. Lord, let your really virtue flow. Lord God, to heal and restore. Let the grace of God abound this morning. Let your spirit flow.
turn morning to death. Oh, glory. Oh. You give beauty for ashes. Come on. You turn shame into glory. Oh, glory. said, bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Come on, have you given you all this morning? Have you given him your all? 
all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Listen to that this morning, church. Forget not all his benefits. I don't know whether you know it or not this morning, but we have many benefits of God. Blessing in our life, God's anointing, and God's hand often in our lives that we may not even recognize it. God has blessed us richly. He has blessed us. Oh, he says, who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Did you hear that? Come on this morning, church. God's Holy Spirit moving. He knows who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who sacrifice, who satisfies your mouth with good things, who satisfies, hear me this morning, church, the word of the Lord, what the Lord would reveal to us this morning and remind us of His Holy Spirit in our lives at work. I said God at work in our lives every single day. His tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Bless the Lord. All his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Can somebody say bless the Lord? Hallelujah. This morning, come on, give him praise in the house this morning. Glory. All his benefits. Bless his holy name. Oh, listen, church, this morning you and I need to understand what God wants to do in our lives. Church, why are we commanded not to forget all his benefits? Because, church, we are prone to do just that. That's right. The book of Deuteronomy says, Beware, lest thou forget. Have we forgotten how good the Lord is to us? Have we forgotten how blessed we are of the Lord? His mercies are new every day. Lamentations said through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because His compassions fall and fail not and they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion says my soul. Therefore I hope in Him. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him. To the soul who seeks Him they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's God's promise to us. Have we forgotten the goodness of the Lord? Have we forgotten the mercies of God? All oh, the glory of a new day, church. Have you ever had that experience of going to bed at the end of a long and difficult day and just glad to have it over with? And then you wake up the next day and realize that the past is gone and you have a new day to start. That's God, church, working in our lives. We need to understand, oh church, I don't need to earn God's love. For scarcely for a righteous man would one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. Romans tells us in that fifth chapter, but God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Thank God, church, I didn't have to earn it or I never would have had it. But God's grace, praise God, abounds every day. Can you say amen? We need to realize, church, all around us, this world desires to consume us. This wire, the world, the spirit, the principalities and the powers of this world, this present world, church, that we live in, seeks to steal, it seeks to kill and to destroy in your life anything that even claims to 
to resemble or claim Christ in their life. That is the ploy of the enemy. But I love that song that says, just as I am. Oh, praise God this morning, church, that God's love and mercy and his grace does reach out to us where we are. Amen. Oh, we need to understand something this morning, church. This present world that we live in. Oh, just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark plot. Oh, to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, I come. I come just as I am. Though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt. Have you ever been there, church? I said, you ever had a conflicts and doubts seemingly want to overwhelm? Overwhelm you, overwhelm your spirit, overwhelm your soul, and you just don't know what you're going to do next, don't know where you're going to go next. Let me tell you, you can always go to the throne room of heaven, come boldly, Hebrews said, to the throne of God, that throne of grace, God's grace, church, wherever you are in your life. He said, You can come, you can come to Him. I'm telling you this morning, church, many people are people pleasers. They worry about what people think of them and whether other people really like them. And they try to earn people's love and accept us by trying to just perform for them and do what they like. Come on, somebody. We just many times, even our own family, our own circle of friends, church, we, we hunger to be accepted. But God says, come as you are. He said, whosoever will, let him come. That includes me, it includes you. I can tell you, whether you've been saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, we all falter and stumble. Come on, somebody. I said, we all falter and stumble in this daily walk called life. But God's grace... He said, where sin abounds, grace evermore, the love of God covers that multitude of sins. Come on, somebody. He don't use liberty for occasion of, of sin, church. But you and I need to understand that in the midst of all in our life, that we can always depend, trust in the Lord, His almighty grace, His promises to us have not changed. What He did for others, He'll do for us. What He did 2,000 years ago, He can still do this morning. That's the same God today, yesterday, and to ever, forever. My God, church, we've been dwelled by the Holy Spirit the wonderful truth is, church, that God has chosen not to dwell in temples that are made with hands, but in our own lives to take up residence in the throne room of our own hearts. Now, I didn't say throne room by accident. Come on. Because, church, we need to turn over kingship. I said we've got to Turn over the reins. Let him reign. Hallelujah. Let him reign in our hearts and in our lives more than ever before. Church, it's wonderful that God was made flesh and dwelt among us, that it came into this world. It's wonderful when Jesus walked among people on the shores of, of, shores of Galilee and it stayed at the home of Peter and Zacchaeus and Mary and Martha and Simon the leper. All of these things is exceedingly wonderful that God chose to make his home church in my heart. Praise God. He was just visiting in Peter's house. He's just visiting in Zechariah's house. But he's living in my house. Praise God. Give him praise this morning. You and I, church, have something to get excited about. Oh, that God loved 
us so much. That God loves us so much, church. A revolution from the inside. Oh, church, another benefit is that we don't have to work at being like Jesus. The Holy Spirit works in me to help me act and like and be like Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, now, Pastor, I didn't tell you something, church. You can do nothing on your own. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you want to try to say, well, Pastor, you gotta, you got to do some work. we got to do our part. Uh, listen to me. Uh, biggest part you got to do is yield uh, to the Holy Spirit. Uh, I said surrender to His work in your life. Uh, church, hear me this morning. Uh, understand that God working in our heart and in our life that God will do. Uh, we have access to God. God, through that prayer life and the praise oh once and a very limited access church Job tried to speak to God but couldn't figure out how to get an audience he prayed that God would appoint an advocate for man that just what God did church when he sent his son Jesus to be my advocate and your advocate God's grace through Jesus Christ, the church that he hanging upon that cross and that veil of that temple was ripped from the top to the bottom. Not from the bottom to the top, church. Not where somebody could get mules and horses and oxen and tear it apart. But from the throne of heaven, God himself reached down and ripped open that access to the holy of holies that you and I may enter in boldly to the throne of grace. Church, God will work in our life if we are just trust and know that he says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's God saying I want to work through you. I want to work in your life. Jeremiah says, call unto me and I'll answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. That's the God I serve this morning, church. That's the God I serve. Isaiah said, and it shall be that before they call, I shall answer. And while they are yet speaking, Yet speaking, I will hear. I'm telling you this morning, church, you get on your knees and on your face before God and that answer's on the way. Praise God. Give Him praise in the house this morning. My God, church, we can come boldly to the throne of grace and receive help in the time of need. God's ears and eyes are open to our petitions and Christ Jesus is still interceding for us. You read that 8th chapter of the book of Romans, church, and you begin to see and realize how much God loves us and cares for our needs in the time that we need Him most in our lives. I'm telling you this morning, church, that God wants to do a miracle in your life. He wants to reveal Himself in a mighty, mighty way. But we need to trust Him mean not to our own understanding but trust him he knows church he's been through it he's lived through it Jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believe do you believe this morning church let me tell you something that story was a father that had a son that was lashing out Casting himself into the fire. Casting himself into the deep waters. Jesus asked him, he says, how long has this been going on? He says, this birth. Since he was a kid. And Jesus said these words. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thine unbelief. Oh, praise God this morning, church. Let me tell you, you're going through a struggle with your child. That enemy of unbelief wants to attack you. It wants to attack 
your faith. I know what it is, church, to go through those struggles. Jesus Christ knows what it is, church. In that garden, he said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. He knew how difficult it was going to be, how treacherous the battle and the road ahead. But he said, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. Hear me this morning, church, you and I have to pray, God, help our unbelief. Prayer is word from the time of Adam until this service this morning. Prayer is word, church. The only failure is our lack of praying through. Will we pray superficially or will we get to God and pay the price as Daniel church struggled in the battle of spiritual warfare going on for 21 days and the archangel said the answer was on the way the very first day the very first day the answer was on the way but there was a battle that took place oh thank God you didn't give up Daniel thank God you didn't quit Daniel on that 20th day thank God Daniel you didn't give up on the beginning of that 21st day but you prayed and you prayed and you prayed until we broke through I'm telling you church even the angels of heaven fight battles on your behalf but I'm telling you church you and I must not give up all things are possible only believe all things are possible church Jesus said if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth thank God Jesus loved us so much he died for us church never let that heart of thanksgiving leave your soul never let that heart of thanksgiving let me tell you something you and I can be overwhelmed by grief we can be overcome by loneliness, we can be overcome by life if we let it. But choose you this day. I said, choose you this day. It's time, church, that we say, shake it off. And oh, of course, we used to say, shake off those heavy bands, lift up those holy hands oh we've got to shake off the doubt and disbelief we've got to shake off those hindering spirits church oh church let me tell you I, we really wouldn't have anything else to give thanks for without Jesus death and his sacrifice in my place and neither with you but praise God church I have been crucified with Christ the apostle said it is no longer I that lives but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me come on somebody say he gave himself for me that is God's word for you this morning, church. Not that he didn't give his life for your neighbor, your children, but you need to understand he gave his life for you. I remember as a young, young, young preacher. Hadn't really started preaching, but I remember Brother Mark Gambino and it's a pastor of mine. I was going through Men City, just gotten married, and we were just trying to get started, struggling, struggling financially, struggling everywhere. Just, you know, we learned you couldn't live just on love alone. <laughs> Though we thought we could. But we was praying for something. You know, Jimmy Carter was president. Interest rate was 20%. We come across a home, $18,000 or 
or twenty thousand dollars. I think it was twenty thousand. Might as well have been twenty. We didn't have eighteen. Eighteen hundred square feet foot brick home for twenty thousand dollars. Unheard of. But we couldn't afford it. And I was we was praying in the altar, and I'm, he asked me, he says, "Is there anything special I can pray with you about?" I says, "I told him I said I've been praying for." You know, interest to come down and us to be able to buy a house, buy this for my family. Cindy was expecting Heather and life was difficult. I said, I just need interest to come down, but I don't, I don't expect God to do it just for me. And he looked at me and he said, why not? He loves you. Why don't you expect him to do it for you? And I begin to cry and weep. And I said, Lord, move. We got 13% interest. Now that sounds outlandish to you today, but when interest was running 20%, that was a miracle from God. Let me tell you something. God moved. Amen. You and I need to understand we want the God to move and we hear the enemy tell us, well, he can't do that just for you. Well, I ask you, why not? Yeah. All things are possible. That all covers all. Come on, somebody. But the Father said, Father, God help my unbelief. He realized where he needed help in his life. He said, I believe, God, you can do it. But God, where there's weakness in my life, help me. Where there's struggle in, in my life, help me. God, whatever it takes, I want to see this done for my little boy. Are we willing to fight the battle? Are we willing to do what is necessary for God to work? Oh, Oh, of course, we used to sing, it says, oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Singers come to the platform. Hallelujah. He's able this morning. Would you bow your heads? First and foremost, this morning, I want to ask you, do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? If not, you can before you leave here today. I said, if not, you can before you leave here today. Just let go and let God. Would you just lift that hand up and say, Pastor, I need Christ in my life. Come on, come on. Is there one this morning? Come on. Come on. Maybe this morning you say, Pastor, I struggle with unbelief in my life and I want God to take hold of my heart and my life this morning. Help me to pray this morning. No one looking around, but just slip your hand up right briefly. Help my unbelief this morning. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for raising that hand. Go ahead. You can just lay it down now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God this morning. Church, stand to your feet, if you will, with me this morning. Stand to your feet across this sanctuary. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for special needs in just a moment before we leave this morning. But I want to pray that God would touch for those that lifted their hand, struggling with the unbelief or doubt. It's not a shame to say, God, I need help. This man, he no longer was worried about his own self. He was worried about that boy. No greater love than for a man to give his life for another. Come on, somebody. To understand that we're willing to sacrifice for our brother and sister.
to sacrifice for our family. Let me tell you, there's family members of this congregation are dying on their way to hell. God wants to use you to reach them. The New Testament says is even as snatching them out of the flames of hell. Would you reach that hand towards heaven this morning and say, God, I need you. Lord God, you see the needs this morning. Lord God, you see the hearts this morning that need your touch. God, I pray that your spirit begin to move upon this young man this morning. Lord, move upon this sister this morning. God, I pray that you touch them right now. Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord Jesus. Lord, hands that are raised across the sanctuary, let your Holy Spirit flood their soul even now, Lord. Fear us, Lord God, with your presence. Fear us, Lord God, help our unbelief. Lord, we believe, but help our unbelief, Lord God, this morning. God, let us never forget your benefits. Lord, let us never forget your blessings. Let us never forget never forget all your benefits in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus can somebody say amen this morning <laughs>